Hi, Z here. So, in the previous video, we covered um, native Excel protection and uh, a couple of ways that you can share and distribute files. Um, but I also mentioned that the native protection using Excel's password features are uh, unready strong, and there are a number of uh, freely available um, password cracking um, apps that are out there that you can use to break open the native protection. So, um, one option that you could explore if you have this problem of uh, how to securely protect and share and distribute widely this uh, spreadsheet is uh, to use specialist tools and uh, there are two sort of uh, more prominent ones that I found online and uh, they, they both sort of work on the same principle and uh, they provide additional security and uh, finer granularity in terms of how you want to set security on the spreadsheets and uh, there is uh, Excel's padlock but there's also log XLS. Uh, log XLS has a free trial so uh, for the purpose of this demo uh, I've gone with log XLS and uh, I just want to show you what it looks like. So one thing that uh, was kind of difficult to do um, if uh, you were to do it in a macro like the previous example creating a feature where um, you have something like a uh, limited time to use the file before it expires. Um, so I tried to mimic that in the uh, previous video that you saw. So there's some of these uh, macros that can help you do that. But these solutions aren't really very robust. So um, Log XLS offers uh, something that's slightly more fancy. So um, the way it works is if you download the free trial, you, you get this uh, um, log Excel has open and you add a file. So here I've got a file called um, 03 blah 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 raw and basically it's the same as 01a so it is a file that uh, I have left open so you can open it without password but the worksheets and the workbook structure and uh, protected so there's no VBA in this file uh, but you cannot unlock the um, file structure and you also can't change the cells that uh, you need to change. Now what we do is we put that into a project in uh, log XLS and you can set a whole bunch of different options. So I'm just going to sort of show you a couple of examples. Um, maybe you could do it where uh, the you can set a product code. So I've already generated one earlier. Um, maybe you can say register after five days, uh, allow five runs. Um, you can specify how it will measure current time. Um, and this is if you want to use sort of a time-based expiry. Uh, you can even do online activation. So if you have some sort of website where you provide the code uh, to activate it, um, and here uh, I've selected uh, encryption should work during the first, uh, let's say, five days. And um, you put in a custom message when it loads up. Um, custom message when you first register. Custom message when you activate it. Um, specific reminders and you can time the reminders. So there's a lot of... Um, customization you could do uh, that you would not have if you were to try and uh, recreate it using a macro um, natively in Excel. And uh, you can even include an end user license agreement. I haven't done that here. Um, and, you know, even uh, images if you want to sort of, uh, um, when you load up the file, I'll show you in a moment what that looks like. Uh, and you can get into a lot of finer grain detail uh, where by default it locks all formulas, worksheets, VBA code, uh, workbook structures, but you can also allow certain things to be done here. I'm not selecting that. Uh, I have, however, uh, disallowed the ability to copy data from the workbook. So um, let me just hit OK. And... Um, we're just going to say build the project. So what it's going to do is it's going to create a file 
that is stored in locked and what that looks like is uh, you notice it is not a excel file it is a executable document sorry executable file and if you try to open it you are using a time limited version uh, it'll expire in five days it asks you to please register a copy and you get this uh, custom image that uh, you can select when you open it up and you notice that it has this register this tool and if you click register uh, you have a computer code and you can put in an activation code and uh, that activation code is something that you as a user generates so whenever you get a request uh, you go to tools generate and you put in the product code so you may have more than one spreadsheet you're doing this with and the potential customer gives you a computer code you put this and you generate an activation code it's a long string and copy the clipboard and you can save information uh, about the customer here so mr xyz and so on and so forth uh, you click generate and close so you've got that information and uh, the user just puts it in here to to uh, unlock the the file and i've done it in this way where i think if you unlock it you use it um, can use it unlimited but uh, there's a lot of customization that you can do so i'll show you another example where this one you can't even open it uh, unless you have the activation code so you are using a time limited version uh, i think this one will block you from opening it up completely so uh, you can't even open it so in this version it doesn't even allow you to look at the file until you put in the activation code so uh, yeah it gives you an error so uh, this is a slightly more powerful version of how um, users are allowed to access and uh, use the files. Now, um, that whole process of uh, key generation and getting the computer code from uh, users can be a bit tedious if you have to do it manually. So luckily, um, I had looked and LockXLS actually offers that as a um, added service where uh, they have a standalone activation code generator where uh, I think it's a file that generates activation codes for a certain product and um, you can host that on your website if I'm not mistaken. So basically um, you can set it up so that uh, you put it on some URL and uh, when people hit the URL similar to the example I showed um, in an earlier video about using some sort of a survey form type thing to, to automate the key transmitter. You can do that here um, and i think the competitor product xls padlock so has that here somewhere uh, well it's got this mass key generation so um, in any event uh, that's the um, usage of specialist tools to um, refine how you control and distribute um, the files